The Bergen County Academy Admission Test is a very important exam. It is one of the main factors that will determine whether or not you will be accepted to the academies. The test has two sections, math and English. The math section is a 40 question multiple choice exam that you have to answer in one hour without using a calculator. For your English section, all you get is one essay. The essay is typically a short story with one question on that story. All you need to do is write a typical four or five paragraph essay, answer the question, get proof or citations from the short story itself. The problem is mainly with math. Because you can't use a calculator, you need to know some shortcuts and some tricks that will help you ace the math test in 40, 40 questions in one hour without a calculator. Let me show you an example of a question that um, is on the level of questions that do appear on the BCA test. Now, basically the question says, which of the following number is the closest to the cubic root of 3 billion? So what I'm looking for is something close to the cubic root of 3 billion. 3 billion is 3 with 9 zeros next to it. There you go, 3 billion. I want to find the cubic root of this number. Now, before we look at the answer choices, let's go over some main points here that have to do with cubic root and some tricks how to find them easily without a calculator. Of course, if you did have a calculator, it would be very simple. So, first thing, why is the cubic root of 8? Try that on your calculator equal to 2. Because 8 is 2 times itself 3 times. That's why the cubic root of 8 is 2. Similarly, the cubic root of 1,000 is equal to 10. Why? Because 1,000 is equal to 10 times itself 3 times again. Now, there's a pattern here or a small rule that we use as a trick to find um, such questions like 3 billion, the cubic root of 3 billion, on the exam without a calculator. Every three zeros under a cube root equals one zero outside of the cubic root on the answer side, on the right-hand side. So basically, if I have a number like this, for example, the cube root of 8 million, so that's 8 and 6 zeros next to it. Okay, there you go. Now, first thing I do, if I don't have a calculator, is count how many zeros I have. I have six, so that's three and three more. What does this mean outside to the right-hand side of the equal sign? It means two zeros, one for the first set of three zeros and another for the next set of three zeros. Then, what should come here? The number that is equivalent to the cubic root of eight. So the answer should be the cube root of eight times two zeros, which is basically 100, one and two zeros. So the answer would be the cubic root of eight times 100, the cubic root of eight, and next to it, two zeros. Now, what is the cubic root of eight? It is two and two zeros. Two times 100 equals 200. So the answer, what is the cubic root of eight million? The answer is 200. Now, let's apply this to the question we have here. Now, we're looking for the cube root of a much larger number, 3 billion. So, nine zeros one more time. Okay, great. Now, since we have nine zeros, I would ask myself again, how many sets of three zeros do we have? One, two, three. So, the answer is going to be something with three zeros after it or something times 1,000. Well, what is this something? What is the number missing here? It is the cubic root of 3, because that's what we have here in the question, 3 billion. So the cubic root of 3 times 1,000. How did we get the 1,000? From the three sets of three zeros up here. Now, the point is, I want to find the cubic root of 3. That would be easy if I do have a calculator, but since I cannot use a calculator, what do I do? Well, I ask myself, what's the smallest integer I know that I could start counting with? I'm going to start with 1. I mean, 0 wouldn't give me anything. So I ask myself, what is 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1 to the power of 3? It is equal to 
1. Okay, well, we want 3, so that doesn't work. Let's try the next integer. 2 times 2 times 2, 2 to the power of 3, equals 8. That's too big. So I wanted something that should give me 3. Something times itself 3 times. A number times itself 3 times. That would give me 3 at the end. Now, I have a number that gives me 1. And I have another number, 2, that gives me 8. But I want something in between. I want 3. So that means the number I need, the answer to the cubic root of 3, should be a number between 1 and 2. So the cubic root of 3 should equal something between 1 and 2. Now, it really won't make a difference um, how close to the actual number you are, because at the end, the answer choices are not very close. So any estimate would probably do. So something between 1 and 2. I just go with a simple 1 and a half, 1.5. So I'd say that the cubic root of 3 equals something around 1.5, maybe 1.4, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.3. I'm not really sure, and I'm not really going to try to calculate it. I could, but I'm not going to waste time on the test. So the cubic root of 3 is something like 1 point something. Let's say 1.5 times 1,000. Where did I get that 1,000 from? From up here. Okay. So what is 1.5 times 1,000, or 1 1.7 times 1,000, 1 1.8 times 1,000? It's approximately... 1,500. Now, what one answer do I have that is really close to 1,500? The only answer that I have is A. The next answer would be B, 3,000, which is much bigger. And remember, we said the answer has to be 1 point something, which is right here. This is 1.8 times 1,000. B would be 3 times 1,000, and we know this is definitely wrong. So the answer would be 